Hi, I'm Frank Pettifalu, and I want to give you some tips if you're thinking about buying an ultrasonic washer. There are five things you need to know before you buy. First, what type of materials are you cleaning? Is it metal, plastic, ceramic, or another type of material? Second, what type of contaminants are you removing? Oils, light dirt, heavy dirt, or carbon? If it's oils, you need a filtration system that skims from the top. If it's the kind of dirt that suspends, then you want the main bath to be filtered. Heavy or excessive dirt that creates sludge at the bottom of a tank lends itself to bolt-on transducers so that sludge doesn't interfere with the ultrasonic performance. Third, consider your ultrasonic power needs. You want enough power to clean your application in the time frames required, but there's no need to overbuy ultrasonic power. Buy what you need. For most applications, 50 watts peak per gallon is sufficient. Fourth, frequency is important. 40 kilohertz is the most common frequency used. This frequency creates a mid-range bubble that's small enough to penetrate most blind holes, yet strong enough to clean almost any application. Submicron cleaning requires higher frequencies. Heavy burnt-on contamination requires lower frequencies. The bottom line, get application support from your supplier. The fifth thing you need to know is process. What is the process required? That's the key to a great experience with ultrasonic washing. You need to know the correct chemistry, the right amount of cleaning time. You've got to have the proper temperature. You can have the best equipment, but without the proper software, you will not have a successful application. Again, the bottom line, get application support from your supplier, because when you add it all up, it's really a little more than five things you need to know. So don't do it without support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.